When asked about the difficulties facing electric vehicles, such as the recent slowdown in U.S. demand, Toyota Motor Chairman Akio Toyota said that the industry was beginning to realize that there was no one solution to lowering carbon emissions. People are finally seeing reality, Toyota said, speaking in his capacity as the head of the Japan Automobile Manufacturers Association. Why did Akio Toyota utter these remarks? Toyota has long maintained that the auto industry should diversify its investments by keeping money in hybrid gasoline electric automobiles and other possibilities outside of only electric vehicles. Toyota resigned from his position as Toyota CEO this year after almost 14 years in the position. He might be relishing an I told you so moment as hybrid car sales in the US outpace EV sales momentum. At the Japan Mobility Show, previously the Tokyo Motor Show, which opened a few days back for the first time in four years, Toyota told a small group of reporters, There are many ways to climb the mountain that is achieving carbon neutrality. Automakers ranging from Tesla to Ford Motor have cautioned in recent months about the unexpected decline in consumer demand for electric vehicles, which are often more costly than conventional gasoline-powered vehicles, and require frequent recharging, which can present difficulties for certain drivers. Many consumers are finding them more costly because of rising borrowing rates and dealership unsold inventory is beginning to accumulate despite growing discounts on plug-in versions. The industry, which is investing billions of dollars in new factories and battery production facilities and is dealing with stricter global laws on tailpipe emissions, should be concerned about the retreat in consumer interest. General Motors and Honda Motors said they are ending a cooperation that was established a year and a half ago with the goal of creating a line of more affordable EVs, which is the latest indication that automakers are reversing their objectives. Millions of vehicles were anticipated to be produced with GM's Altium batteries, a proprietary technology that the Detroit automaker has positioned as the mechanical foundation of its next electric vehicles. According to GM executives, lowering the price of EVs is essential to increasing their market share and increasing battery technology, including through joint ventures with other automakers, is one approach to save expenses. A few days back, GM also renounced its self-imposed goal to produce 400,000 electric vehicles by the middle of 2024, citing the need to make sure it can profitably develop these new models and the increasing unpredictability of the EV industry. Japanese automakers, most notably Toyota, have spoken out more than their counterparts in the West regarding the short-term difficulties that electric vehicles would encounter, such as high costs, scarce resources, and a lack of adequate charging infrastructure. Western and Japanese automakers confront a plethora of local competitors and an EV pricing war in China, the largest automobile market in the world based on vehicle sales. Toyota and other companies have been looking to hybrid cars as a bridging technology while the early phases of the electric vehicle revolution play out. And they have also been observing how leaders like China's BYD and Tesla operate. Koji Sato, the company's current CEO, has stated that Toyota will quicken the development of components and production techniques tailored for electric vehicles. Japanese automakers displayed a wide range of concept EVs at the Tokyo event. Many of these won't be available in showrooms until the second part of this decade. Toyota showcased two electric vehicle concept cars that are scheduled for production post-2026, along with an electric pickup truck and a Land Cruiser variant that is anticipated to be released in the near future. Why has Toyota been viewing electric vehicles as the enemy for years? Over the course of the last 20 years or so, Toyota and its management have made it obvious that they're not particularly fond of electric cars. The automaker's reputation as a pioneer of green cars may seem to contradict this. As Toyota likes to remind people, the 1997 launch of the Prius marked a turning point in automotive history, as it was the first hybrid vehicle available for drivers who cared about the environment that was mass-produced and run on gas. This move encouraged rivals like General Engines and Honda to launch their own electrified engines. However, almost 25 years later, Toyota has mainly stayed in gear. The car manufacturer started selling up its Tesla shares after a few years of making an investment in the company back in 2010 to promote EV development. In 2012, the company sold 100 units of a battery-operated microcar before discontinuing it because of concerns regarding the limits of EVs. Toyota has only recently seemed to be considering EVs seriously. In December, the firm unveiled a plan to deliver five new zero-emission cars to the European market by 2026. At the Toyota Auto Salon earlier this month, the company unveiled a new hybrid model along with a full battery-powered retro-concept car. However, at the moment, Toyota only sells one EV, and if you want to buy one, the corporation doesn't offer many. 
Hyundai and other rivals are taking advantage of Toyota's sluggishness with EVs to highlight their own clear car achievements, undermining the Japanese giant's dominance in the global auto industry. How did Toyota come to choke on the dust of the electric vehicle revolution? Not by a thoughtless business error, but by deliberate decisions made at the top. Even worse, the corporation has combined this lack of innovation with strong efforts to prevent the widespread adoption of electric vehicles in order to maintain its ranking as the most valuable automaker in the world. Some entertaining statistics here. Toyota lagged well behind competitors like Mitsubishi, Nissan, and BMW, who were all offering EV models years before Toyota even had an electric car division, by failing to mass-market a single all-electric product until 2020. Additionally, the electric product, a CHR SUV, was first available only to customers in China. The BZ4X, the company's first globally available zero-emission car, had a short production run, only debuted in the United States last year, was the subject of a concerning safety recall, and ultimately only sold a few hundred units here, a negligible percentage of the 800,000 EVs that were sold stateside in 2022. Despite these scheduled setbacks, Toyota does not intend to increase BZ4X production until 2025. Contrary to popular belief, the automaker now intends to cease its ongoing electric vehicle initiatives and relaunch its overall industry strategy in an effort to reduce production costs and take manufacturing cues from Tesla. Although the company hasn't pledged to phase out its gas fleet by mid-century as other automakers have, this may still be good news for those who believe Toyota would pursue more aggressive EV manufacturing targets than it had previously anticipated. Rival Japanese automaker Honda is one of such producers, but other Japanese automakers, such as Subaru, Mazda, and Yamaha, are still dragging their feet when it comes to producing fully electric cars. Is Toyota taking an interest in EV and its battery technology? The biggest car company in the world, Toyota, has an issue. The company is renowned for being a trailblazer in lean production techniques and hybrid electric powertrains, but it was caught off guard when it came to the transition to battery electric vehicles. Toyota seemed to be falling behind as competitors secured contracts for vital minerals and established partnerships with battery manufacturers or created their own. It has already unveiled a revised roadmap outlining how it plans to become competitive again and sell 3.5 million electric vehicles by 2030. CEO Akio Toyota lost his job earlier this year due to the poor progress of BEVs. He was succeeded by former Lexus executive Koji Sato, who established a new division within Toyota named BEV Factory, whose goal is to produce next-generation EVs for Toyota by 2026. According to Takeru Kato, president of BEV Factory, it is critical to provide battery solutions that are compatible with a range of models and customer needs. Toyota is currently developing four distinct approaches to address this. Three of them are intended for distinct applications and will make use of liquid electrolytes. Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section. For more interesting stories and updates, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications. Goodbye.